Hello, I'm Robert and a uh, fact checker and science blogger and also helping people get very scared for, of many things. At the moment, lots of people are getting scared by uh, that something that everyone is going to die on the 21st of December because this chap, uh, uh, just, uh, someone called David Montan, is telling them this. And he's very, he says, says very, very silly things. I do absolutely ridiculous things. So, um, first of all, what he's done, he, he takes the Mayan civilization and lives somewhere about there. So, this is the Mayan civilization. And they had a calendar that ends, that has a, it doesn't end, that was completely wrong, the 2012 movie. It's made up of these different units of so many days and so many years. And the 13th Bakhtun ended in 2012. We are now in the 14th Bakhtun. Then there'll be a 15th, and then a 16th, and so on. And eventually, when we've got 20, there will be a Pictun. And after 20 of those, we'll have a Caliptun. And after 20 of those, we'll have a Kinchitun. And 20 of those, then we finally get an Alotun. And that is 63 million years. So it's not a calendar that stops. It just goes on and on and on, just like ours does. And they don't have any... Um, uh, they don't have any prophecies about the world ending and the Mayans knew nothing about Jesus. So, you've got the Mayans live there. They don't know anything about Jesus. And then you have uh, you have Jesus, of course, and the Jews, and these are modern depictions of him. And then you have St. Peter, who's uh, one of the twelve apostles. And then you have the Pope, who is in a lineage from St. Peter. And I'm saying this because uh, some of the people who, who get so scared, then they're followers of Catholicism. And many more pictures of the Pope. So they are all connected with Jesus, and that's, um, that's around there. Now, the Jews knew nothing about the Mayans. The Mayans knew nothing about the Jews. They didn't know each other's uh, continents existed. And the, um, the Mayans, they obviously don't have any prophecies about Jesus because they, they've never even heard of him. And the Bible obviously has nothing about the Mayans because they didn't know that their civilization even existed. And then this just chapter just comes along and says, what you've got to do is you've got to take, take the end of the 13th Bakhtun in the Mayan calendar and then you've got to add seven years which we found in a book in the Bible and you've got to add those two together and that gets you to the 21st of December he says then at that point the then the world will turn upside down just out of his imagination he says that you know like Greenland will end up down there and Antarctica will end up there and this is not possible I've talked the other, yesterday about how that's uh, scientifically impossible. You might, you might it'd be much more plausible, even you know, much less mass to move around, if you said that Mount Everest is going to sprout wings and and fly over to Greenland. That'd be far, far more, more, far, far easier in terms of physics than the world turning upside down. It's absolutely utter codswallop, nuts. Anyway, I talked about that yesterday. And so I'm just trying to help you, you know, just kind of see these people who are scaring you. I mean, something about him, apparently the way he talks and the way he looks or something impresses people and they believe him. But he's just a false prophet. And he has said the world will end many times before. And these false prophets do not listen to them. All they do is they scare you. They're not bringing you the word of Jesus. He didn't want to scare you. They are, and, they, and he is not God. And so, according to Christian belief, then um, nobody knows when Jesus is going to return, for those who do believe it, except not even Jesus, not even the angels, only God himself. And this says that very clearly in the Bible, and just about all Christians uh, agree with that. And so whenever you get these false prophets, and there are lots of them, and every single person who said that Jesus is going to return up to now has been a false prophet. It doesn't matter what they say. 
because he didn't return. So they obviously are a false prophet. And he is a false prophet because he has several times already said that Jesus is not going to return. He's just another false prophet, just one more false prophet out of dozens and dozens of them. And you should not listen to them. The Bible says very clearly, do not listen to false prophets. And they just, they just scare you, just make you unhappy. They don't bring you any happiness. They don't make you any sense. And they just confuse your mind and upset you and get you unhappy for absolutely no purpose. And if you're Catholic, then listen. Then you should listen to, the, to your, your leader, to the Pope. And not, not to Montan. And... The, and if you listen to the, if the beliefs of the uh, Catholics, now, so I always help people according to what their own beliefs are. So if you are Catholic, then as best I understand it, in your own cat, in your catechism, then it says that Jesus' delay is returned. Is it, Jesus? Sorry, Jesus' return is delayed. The glorious return of Jesus is returned, is delayed, until. All the Jews in Israel decide to become Christian. So uh, this just can't happen in one week. Uh, this, it isn't on the news that all the chief rabbis in Israel have suddenly decided they want to become Christian. It just isn't isn't credible. And they do say that you should wait wait for Jesus' return or every day, but that does not mean that they think that this is suddenly going to happen like that. This is much more with how you deal with your personal life. Now, if you want proper advice on this, you shouldn't listen to me. You should not listen to Montaigne. You should go and ask your priest. Ask someone in your own religion to help you on this. And do not listen to false prophets. Please uh, stop listening to false prophets. If, and, and I know you get very scared so the best way to get uh, to deal with this is to just not pay any attention to them and just get on with your ordinary life. And I have my tips here. Let's bring up my seven tips. So this is what you need to do. So lots of people say that this helps. First, you have to see it as nonsense and bullshit. And let's just do this little thing. So, uh, this double face palm, right? That is exactly what you should think about. This is the correct reaction to David Montan. Double face palm. Not, one is not enough. And <coughs> then that won't be enough because you're still very scared, even though you know that it's nonsense. Then... Uh, so then you, uh, you can't stop yourself thinking about it. So there's no, there's no really point in trying. Your mind will be full of whatever you're trying to stop thinking about. You can get help from therapists with cognitive behaviour therapy. And, uh, and you can also do breath meditation. Just breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly. And do that for uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes. It can help calm your mind. And if you can find a health professional who can advise you with this sort of thing, it can make a big difference. Make sure that you look after yourself. Eat plenty. And if you find difficulty eating, then eat small things more often. Then uh, try, to, uh, try to get sleep. And if you find difficulty sleeping, then you can do things like play relaxing sounds as you sleep. And you can do, some people find doing lots of short sleeps help. And then try and think about the future and things that you plan to do after the date. So uh, Christmas, for instance, and next year. Think about, think about the future. And then just continue with what you do in your everyday life. Don't give up your job. And don't stop seeing people in order to worry about this uh, false prophecy. Just keep going with your ordinary things. And stop feeding your mind with all these things. Stop reading them. And then, and this is my breathe in and breathe out, this is my gift, so breathe in, breathe out, let's keep that in, and then I have uh, many more tips here. 
I've already talked about that in the previous video. And uh, tips you can do to relax. Lots of relaxation methods. And you just uh, and and uh, just very patient. Keep going. Uh, eventually, for a long time period of time, then you can calm down and get over this. And it does help if you can get professional help.